All right, going to do a video showing and exposing the fact that the false prophet of Islam, Muhammad, was illiterate. He couldn't read and write. If you don't know, Islam is the spirituality of Ishmael, and how is Ishmael described in Genesis 16, verse 11 and 12, as a wild man. And the false prophet of Islam was uneducated and illiterate and couldn't even read and write. That's the prophet of Islam for you. Never mind the fact that he was a pedophile and all kinds of other stuff as well. But, you know, don't gonna say, not going to say a whole too whole lot on that because you know youtube will censor me for islamophobia which is a totally it the word has lost all meaning pretty much because it's used against it's used as a slander against anybody who says anything critical about islam but here's actually from the islamic sources themselves that show that the false prophet of islam was illiterate this is from the hadith this is salia bakari volume one book one hadith three this is what it says says suddenly the truth ascended upon him while he was in the cave of hira the angel came to him and asked him to read the prophet replied i do not know how to read the angel caught me forcefully and pressed me so hard that i could not bear it anymore he then released me and again asked me to read and i replied i do not know how to read so basically it's this demonic entity that is manifesting as an angel of light. Okay, 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 13 and 15 talks about how, you know, even Satan can appear as an angel of light. Uh, he comes to him, this demonic entity, and says, read, and the prophet, the false prophet of Islam repeatedly says, I do not know how to read. Straight out of the horse's mouth. This is from uh, Salio al-Bakari, uh, volume 6, book 60, Hadith 478. Says, an angel came to him and asked him to read. Allah's messenger replied, I do not know how to read. The prophet added, then the angel held me forcibly and pressed me so hard that I felt distressed. He then, then he released me and again asked me to read and I replied, I do not know how to read. Thereupon he held me again and pressed me for the second time till I felt distressed. He then released me and asked me to read, but again I replied, I do not know how to read. So those angels repeatedly just, I guess, hurting the guy and, and, and holding him so hard, saying, you will read. And Muhammad is, is repeatedly saying, I do not know how to read. You know, <laughs> that's that's their prophet right there. And there was at one point where Muhammad thought he was under a witchcraft and demonic influence, which he was. Uh, but then later, you know, it's supposedly shown that he wasn't. But his original assumption was right, because that angel that came to him was a demonic entity, likely a fallen angel or an unclean spirit. Uh, but this, this idea that, oh, it's somehow, you know, it was, it was a miracle he couldn't read and write, but wrote the Quran, it's actually a shameful thing for a prophet to not be able to read and write, okay? Uh, Jesus Christ was very, uh, very much able to read and write, and he was very educated, and it actually shocked and stunned the Pharisees. Okay, the Pharisees thought Jesus Christ couldn't read, but he shocked them by his ability to teach and preach from the scriptures. Completely opposite of the false prophet of Islam. John 7, verse 14 to 18. Now about the midst of the feast, Jesus went up into the temple and taught, and the Jews marveled, saying, How knoweth this man letters, having never learned? Jesus answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of God, or whether I speak of myself. He that speaketh of himself seeketh his own glory, but he that uh, seeketh his glory that sent him, the same is true, and no unrighteousness is in him. So they're saying, you know, we, we thought you're essentially what they thought was that he was like Muhammad to where he was unlearned and ignorant. But Jesus marvel it has a marveling at his ability to teach from the scriptures. Another example of this, which totally shows how Jesus was nothing at all like the false prophet of Islam, Muhammad. Uh, Luke chapter 4, verse 16 down to verse 22. And he came to Nazareth where he, Nazareth, where he had been brought up, and as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah, Isaiah I think that's how you say it. Uh, and when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written, the spirit, of the, uh, spirit, the spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath appointed, appoint, anointed me, sorry, to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. I preached the acceptable year of the Lord, and he closed the book, and he gave it again to the minister, and sat down, and, and the eyes of all of all of them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him, and he began to say unto them, This day this scripture is the scripture fulfilled this day is the scripture fulfilled in your ears, sorry. And he and all bear him witness, and wondered at the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth, and they said, Is this not Joseph's son? So they're again they're marveling at his ability to teach from the scriptures. Uh, which they thought he originally was unlearned and ignorant as they thought, you know. 
But so essentially they thought he was no different than Muhammad. You know, and you know, not good at reading things on a computer, but we clearly see there that Jesus Christ was uh, had a, an amazing ability to teach and preach from the scriptures, and had the, the unbelieving, you know, apostate Jews marveling at that. But we can't say the same thing about Muhammad because he was a, it was unlearned and ignorant and illiterate, which is not something to be proud of if you're claiming to be a prophet. It's a shameful thing. So Islam, which makes sense, why Islam has so many just wacky, weird, just uh, totally insane things in, in their holy texts, or their unholy texts, because it was written by somebody who couldn't even understand what he was writing, essentially, who could not even read and write. That's Islam. It has a faulty foundation, and thus is faulty by nature. It's the spirituality of Ishmael. So anyway, don't be deceived by Islam. Uh, it is a false religion. It's another daughter of Mystery Babylon, the Vatican. Uh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.